In this video, we'll be solving for an indicated variable. The problem that we'll be working with is to solve 2my squared minus ny equals 3p for y. So our first step when solving for a specific variable is to locate the variable. Now in this problem, notice we have the variable that we're solving for in two places. And this one is a second degree. So we're going to need to use one of our processes to solve a quadratic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get 0 on this side so that I can look at my problem. I'll do that by subtracting 3p from both sides. So on the right side, um, I have a 0. On the left side, uh, the negative 3p term will not combine with uh, any of these terms. So I'm going to write this in descending order of the powers of y. So my second degree y term I'm going to write first 2my squared. And then the first degree, which is this one, I'll write next. So minus ny, and then minus p on the end of that. So we already noticed that this was a quadratic. Um, we now need to figure out what the a is. The a is the coefficient of y squared. So I'll write a is equal to 2m. The b is the coefficient of y. So b is equal to a negative n. And the c is the constant term. So c is a negative 3p. So to solve for y, I'll use the quadratic formula. Um, since my equation is in y, and I'm solving for y, my quadratic formula would be y equals and then it's the usual quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's go ahead and substitute values into our formula. We have y is equal to negative, and then my b is negative n plus or minus square root of b squared. Now b is negative n, so negative n squared is going to be a positive n squared. Because remember, whenever you square a negative, you'll always get a positive. And then minus 4 times a, which is 2m, times c, which is a negative 3p. All over 2 times a, which is 2m. And now all I need to do is simplify this a little bit. Um, y is equal to negative, ne negative is a positive, so we have n plus or minus square root of. Now I need to do this multiplication first, so I'll just copy the n squared. I have a negative times a negative, so I'll have plus here. And then my constants multiplied, 4 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, and then mp. In the denominator, I'll have 4m. And this is as simple as it can get. So I'll just box that in, and that's my answer.